Yes, President Biden is a heroic, patriotic, transformational leader who will go down in American history as one of the greatest public servants of all time. When President Biden and Vice President Harris first took office on January 20th of 2021, the Biden-Harris team assumed a public health crisis, an economic crisis, and a democracy crisis in the immediate aftermath of January 6th at the same time. And thanks to the leadership of President Joe Biden and his partnership with Vice President Kamala Harris, they were able to rescue the country from a once-in-a-century pandemic and turn the situation around so we could return to normalcy. Thanks to the leadership of President Biden and his partnership with Vice President Harris, dignity and decency and a democratic way of life was restored to the Oval Office and 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. We owe a debt of gratitude to President Biden for his tremendous leadership. And I'm also thankful for the incredible partnership that he has had for the last three and a half years with Vice President Kamala Harris. Well, Leader Shum and I are scheduled to meet with Vice President Harris shortly. The House came back into session today. Uh, the Senate does not come back into session tomorrow. I'm excited uh, for that meeting. And let me say this, that Vice President Kamala Harris has excited the community. She's excited the House Democratic Caucus, and she's exciting the country. And so I'm looking forward to sitting down with her in person in short order with Leader Schumer, and we'll have more to say about the path forward as soon as that meeting concludes. I had a private conversation with President Biden to express the perspectives that were wide ranging of the House Democratic Caucus. That conversation will remain private. In terms of my Republican colleagues, former President Donald Trump and extreme MAGA Republicans are having a meltdown right now, a complete and total meltdown. Why? Because their presidential nominee is unpopular. The extreme MAGA Republican policies are unpopular, including trying to impose a nationwide abortion ban on the American people, and their Project 2025 is unpopular. They have